Okay, we're making supports for a Sinninger XL uh, uh, irrigation sprinkler. This is just a, a 2x10 that's ripped down, some scrap wood I had, and it's about uh, 42 inches long. I've got a couple of holes here. I've got a hole there, that's half inch. Uh, a couple more pairs of holes, and you'll see what those are for, for in a second. So. The bigger hole, the half inch hole, is for a piece of rebar, and it's half inch rebar, or 10 mil I guess, and I've got it in quarter lengths, comes in 20 feet, cut it in the quarters, and I put a six inch bend in it, one end, drop it in that hole, okay, and I'll show you what, uh, oops, show you what's going on with that in a sec. I've got a short piece of electric fence wire through each of those pairs of holes to hold the uh, rebar on. I've got the bend in the rebar so there's sort of a handle and you'll see it makes it easier to push the uh, sprinkler into the ground. Uh, now, what good would a project be without electric fence wire, right, on a farm? And I'm just gonna knock those down and out of the way. All peen hammer and then take that guy and just set it with another one that I've got. I'm doing about four at a time so I don't bore myself. I've got like 32 to make. Uh, so I'll do a few at a time. Okay, number three. There it is. Number three of four. Okay, next I need uh half-inch irrigation pipe. So, we'll just cut a there. I just cut one to measure. When I cut pipe, I just like to wrap it around and then I don't have to really measure. Close enough is good enough today, that's for sure. Yeah. Three. And get number four in here. Get number four just about there. So my next move is going to be to uh, take the sticker off there and uh, this is a, a half inch insert by a half inch female pipe thread and these are the, uh, the sprinklers, right, the wobbler sprinklers. So I'm going to put a bit of, just a little bit of pipe dope on the threads, maybe tape would be better, but I'm going to be careful so it doesn't clog the, uh, so it doesn't clog that little lavender colored uh, um, outlet I guess but uh, yeah and then uh, then I'll uh, insert the um, uh, fitting into the pipe one end and uh, we'll be ready to attach this to our, uh, our our stand supports with our rebar and our rip two by two okay let's get the insert into the end of the pipe and uh, I know my wife hates when I do this but anyway I uh, I always just put the fittings in my mouth and get them a little bit spitty before I knock them in. And then I just use a rubber mallet. Oh, and I drop stuff like that when I'm holding the camera at the same time. Okay. Now. There we go. Get that fitting started. And I'll just set the camera down here and finish her off and it's time for a hose clamp so I'll just tighten that up get right back all right 
time for some pipe dope. Uh, so Masters Pro Dope, easy does it, right? We're gonna seal the uh, threads a little bit. It's, you know, an open sprinkler, so it really doesn't need to be sealed, but I can't resist, right? I gotta do it right, so. We'll just see what I can do here with with a camera and uh, yeah, that'll do. You can just see, I'll put it on nice and light. There it is. And I'll go all, all the way around those threads with that really light. Really light, okay. You don't have to gob it on, it's just, whoops. Okay, so it looks like it's gobbed on. <laughs> Actually, it's, it is pretty light. <laughs> Anyways, okay, uh, that's funny when it's up close, it looks like it's gobbed right on. So now uh, we're gonna put uh, this half inch fitting, oh, let me get that grass out of there, half inch fitting onto that guy, okay. All right, there we go. So uh, we've got this seven foot long piece of half inch irrigation pipe and I've got this uh, adapter insert to, uh, to female pipe thread and then, uh, and then there's the, uh, the sprinkler head on top. Okay, so I'm now ready to attach this guy to the, uh, the stand supports that I made. Yep, so there's the stand support. What I did was I put a uh, eight inch tie wrap through the pair of holes there and a little closer to the top. And I'm gonna feed the end of the pipe through there. It seems to be the easiest way to do that. So, sort of one handed here. Look like a bit of a spaz, but anyway. Drop the end of the pipe through there. And then I'm working at above my head because I'm up, I'm a six footer and this is up a foot above my head now. See, I wanted lots of height for, I do want lots of height for spray. So I've got the, uh, got the sprinkler head way up now and I'm just gonna tighten those uh, cable ties, right? In the next move. Okay, so cable ties to uh, support. One at the very top. I'm just gonna snip off one, two, and three ends. And this guy is now, as is, about seven feet up there. Lean it against the uh, drive shed there. So it's way up and I'm gonna push it into the ground. Oh, I don't know. The ground's so soft when it when you water that I like to have it in uh, probably 12, 16 inches, something like that. So that brings it down a foot and a half, but lots of height there to uh, really move the water uh, when we're irrigating. So I'll show you what those look like when I finish the others, I'll take them outside. So there we go, uh, a few more to do, but there's four of them done. Just about standing there seven feet tall, right around there. And uh, sprinkler head will be ready to roll. Probably about five and a half feet when it's done and installed. More later.